demographic of your potential buyer. What kind of business do do? Are they busy professionals? Do they have children? Are they schools important? That kind of thing. And we create a, a buyer pers persona or an avatar and we create the idea of who we're selling it to. Just like when you go to a retail outlet, whether it's clothes or records or hats, they have a specific persona or avatar that they're niching to. And that's how we market towards your house. And out of all of that, we generally come up with a sensible price, a marketing scheme and come into it. And then we go to market and do all the different things. But I hope this makes sense that price, the value, the perceived value is out of whack with that neighborhood. It will sit on the market for a long time. The guys, this isn't rocket science, right? You can sell your house on your own if you really want to. It's been on market and they lowered it $50,000. What they should have done is attract the market. So now that the house has been on market 63 days, there's a whole new slew of buyers that are coming through, but they're also saying, why is it on market for so long? And part of my marketing scheme is tempo. I want to have a house that's listed based on a condition just below where it should sell, attract as many buyers as possible on the internet so we can get them in the door and make them want to put an offer on it so we can get multiple offers and then I can negotiate that up. That's how I'm successful at it. So that's basically a listing presentation. 